Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about complex code and if it is really possible to make it less complex. Let, so let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, isn't complex co complex for a reason? And if programs complain about simplifying it, isn't the problem that they are not smart enough to understand what's going on? And the short answer is, well, you can look at, a, look at it that way, but even a complex problem can be simplified. Let me explain. So you could have a similar argument to how we in society look at laws. Let's take that as an example, laws. So if you want to make a living from the law, you would have to be an attorney of some sort or a legal representative of some sort, right? But uh, that's not all that common among us normal mortals. So if you think about it, if the idea was that it was our fault, if the law was so complicated at every turn that there was no way for a normal person to even understand the basics, well, then our society would either have to blindly trust the words of the lawmen, and we know how that has gone in the past when people couldn't read and the churches basically told us what God was telling us, and the same sort of thing could happen here. Like there would be, it would be anarchy or it would be a, a very different uh, paradigm to live under. The same, the same sort of mindset can be applied to code. Like you can absolutely make the argument that really complicated code needs to be understood by the reader. And sometimes code is so complicated that it's not really possible to simplify it. But the goal of any good software developer is to write the code that is right for solving this problem in the simplest way possible because we we need to make a distinction between inherent complexity and circumstantial complexity. Now, inherent complexity is, if we define it by, with, by my definition, complexity that cannot be removed. As an example, if you are going to, well, my favorite analogy is supposed to sort shoes. If you have 10 pair of shoes and you line them all up in front of you, it would be very easy for you to sort those shoes. You can sort them by color, size, occasion, etc., etc. However, if I give you a problem where you're going to so sort 10 million shoes in something like a flight hanger or something like that, it would be almost impossible for you to just glance and say that, oh yeah, these shoes should be sorted in this fashion. It would take you a much, it, took, it would take so much more time and energy to do that. And the only way you can simplify that problem is by either reducing the amount of shoes or increasing your own ability to sort shoes some fashion. You need to simplify the problem, like the, the scope, if you will, needs to change of what it is that you're supposed to be doing. And that usually is the easiest way to simplify a problem. But sometimes it is not possible. Since if you have 10 million shoes you, and there's no way around that, you're gonna have to get to work. So that is a complexity type that is in, inherent to every, every problem. Every problem has some level of complexity. Sometimes it's very easy, sometimes it's very hard. And really, really complicated code, like the really, really complicated stuff, that has a lot of inherent complexity. It's not something that you can do all that much about. But when programmers complain about complicated code, it's not about, usually at least, it's not usually about inherent complexity. Sometimes it is, but anywho, it is circumstantial complexity that is the problem. In other words, if you write software with weird vi variable names or you structure the code in a weird way or I'm reading your stuff and I know what it is that you're trying to do but you're doing it in a really weird way that doesn't really make sense to me, that means that I at least should question your approach. Because when you question a pro uh, your, someone's approach in when we're talking about circumstantial complexity, 
the best thing is that one of the there's only a good outcome of all of this apart from of course if the person who wrote the code was very very insecure about their way of writing code hopefully you're dealing with people with a little bit more emotional security but let's say that you are and the best outcome now is that either you are wrong or you just spotted something that could be improved or something that is complicated or something that might have a bug or something like that and the code is going to be better for it and you as the developers who were involved in this interaction both the person who wrote the code and the person who's reading the code is going to, you're going to end up smarter with more insight and have a conversation and improve your craft that's why it's so useful for it to have code reviews and to have a very warm and nice dynamic in a in your office culture so that having <clears throat> having these discussions feels very natural so what I want you to take away from this is that, oh my, is that the, the idea that complicated code is complex and there's no way to, to change that and the people who are reading it and complaining about that it's complicated should just be smarter is in some cases true. In, because there are really, really tricky programming problems that are so complicated that there's really no way to break it down any further. It is that complicated. I'll give you as an example. If you find it hard to set up a web server or you find machine learning hard, it's not all that possible to change the baseline of the complexity there. You have to study or get smarter, quote unquote, until you can actually understand those concepts. But then you have people who write algorithms or you have situations where people may have made something <clears throat> that is very, very weirdly structured. The logic isn't really clear. You under, it's doing something that is comprehensible to you. It's just that it's doing it in a strange fashion or a very complicated fashion. And then you should question it and it should be simplified because as I said before, the goal of every software developer is to solve the problem in the simplest fashion possible because simplicity means that the code is going to stay functioning and maintainable for longer and that is the true challenge of code that has already solved the problem that it was designed to solve. Have a great day.